Okay, today's video is going to be about humidity. How to adjust the humidity in your snake's cage. I noticed these cages are looking good. That one's a little bit high. That one's really good. This one's really good. But they're new animals, so I can't share the meters. So I got these guys here. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to get all their adjustments tweaked up and down. I'm going to show you what I'm going to attempt to do with these tubs. And hopefully it works, and then you can do it. So, let's get started. I'm building the new enclosure up here. That's going to be for Jan. She's a little big for this tub. I want her to be able to stretch out. And then when she's breeding, we don't have to move her around. We'll just move the male. Is she? Uh, I don't think so. So this is where we're sitting, just finished prepping the cage, we're going to put her in there, such a sweet snake, it's Jan, the Mojave, I should have to tell you a secret before, oh, yeah. what little secret did you just hear? It's a secret, was I, can't it like... tell you. I can't tell you, it's a secret, spread out girl, oh, sorry, <laughs> I threw her little body in wait, 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 the clasp, lift it up, okay. Check out your new home. We'll come back and see your humidity. And see how to adjust it. But this is the cage we need to worry about. We gotta focus on this one today. In order to do that, I gotta clean this one out completely, then the move over, and then Elia goes in here. But we gotta get that humidity figured out. It's way too high. Mm -hmm. All right, just trying to get into a nice, comfortable spot. Scale his head, Mojave. Ooh. Is she a ghost too? Yes. Yes, she is. She is. Okay. So let's do this first. We're up to 88 on humidity. Way too high. So the water's over here. So what I'm thinking I'll do is put more holes on this side of the tub. Where'd that light go? What light? This light. <laughs> mm. tubs before I'm not heating it up pushing too hard that's not good yep. now we're going to do the lid this way it must have been this way because it's wet right here Flower child. Alright, let's go ahead and pause it and I'll clean this out. Okay, so this is the tub that's giving me the problems. I put extra holes down here. Now I've switched out the type of pad I'm using. I was using one of these uh, dial pads right here that you just tape up to the bottom and then you have one of these dials and you gotta tune it in and it stays right at that temperature. I still chuck them every day but they're very reliable. So this one I ran this cord through. The thermostat is hot glued to the bottom, so there's no tape. And I drilled extra holes down here. You can barely see that, but they're there. And then I'll rig it together and take a temp. <laughs> okay, so we got the cages switched over, cleaned out. The new residents will be going in. I got the temp gauges back here. 79 and 49% humidity. I just put the lid on, that'll go up. We'll check that later. The new resident 
banana who's having a horrible shed in his aquarium. Hopefully the tub will help him. He's looking at 49 right now. I'll put the water in here, put his hide, check him tonight. I'm sure that'll go up. We got the new house up here. The big powerhouse girl. Okay, I had success. There's no more water here built up. This is three hours later. Let's put a little more vents here. The new resident, ooh, new resident's right there. Join his cage. Had a really bad shed inside his terrarium, so I decided to put him in here. Got up to 54, 55% humidity, so it's a lot better than his cage. We'll leave him alone. And that's it. The only other thing I'll do is before shed, I might use some of these. These are my daughter's old tights from dance class. I put moss in them. Then I soak them in water and put them in the far corner of the cage away from the water. So I can kind of equal it out. And you might add two of these in here and I'll raise it like 10 degrees. Or you can use net with moss in it. Uh, but you really don't want to keep it up around 70-80%. It's not that great for them, for their breathing. So, there we did it. There's some solutions for how to get a little bit more. But I needed to get some out, so we did it. They're all moved into their new houses. And comfortable. And the main goal was to get her into this big one. Because she is a big girl. She looks very comfy. Good night.